play the ball is quite a simple skill in rugby league. You put the ball on the ground, put your foot on the ball, and use that foot to roll the ball back to your dummy half. These players completed this skill to an extent, but they did it facing the wrong way. Some of them may have got rolled over in the tackle and tried to play the ball too quickly, some may have got a head knock and lost awareness of where they were during the process, and some just had a brain snap and made a mistake that they certainly would love to have back. As this is greatest game of all, and these are 10 players that played the ball the wrong way. Number 10, Justin Olam. I'm not too sure if you can consider this a play the ball, but we've included it anyway. The very first game of the 2021 season between the Storm and the Rabbitohs saw Justin Olam simply throwing the ball away after he was tackled. Potentially thinking that he'd knocked on, Olam must not have realised it was play on and left the ball behind. Happy, I'm fine, what? but That's the right call. Oh, I'm saying, oh, oh no, What's Justin Olam, he's oh. played it towards Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, Sam Mataora. On to the international stage as Tonga took on the Cook Islands in the 2013 Rugby League World Cup. Incredibly, this wasn't the only blunder in the match as Jordan Rapiner lost the ball trying to score a try. Oh, that is incredible. Cook Islands forward Sam Mataora got rolled over in a tackle and made the crucial error. Knocking bells out of each other in the opening 30 it, minutes and there's uh, a couple of unforced errors on either side. Oh, he's played it the wrong way. He's played it the wrong way. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. He got boom. Get that into you, right? Which way are we played? Join Tonga. Get that into you. <laughs> Number eight, Lachlan Croker. 2018, round five saw the Titans take on the Seagulls at Marley Brown Oval in Gladstone, Queensland. Lachlan Croker was the unfortunate victim here, getting rolled over in a tackle and committing the mistake with his team in a good attacking position to score. Last play, Manly. Oh. It's a beautiful moment in the beautiful sport of rugby league. Number seven, Dean Rampling. Back to the early 80s as the South Sydney Rabbitohs would take on the Western Suburbs Magpies. South forward Dean Rampling got lifted in the tackle and put into a dangerous position, better known as a spear tackle. Obviously suffering contact to the head, Rampling got up concussed and as you'd expect, he was facing the wrong way when he played the ball. Left high, knocked it forward, and South come up with the ball again. Up and down he goes. No spear tackle there, just cut, uh, sort of catapulted up. He's played it the wrong way, totally disorientated. <laughs> well, he's a bit aggressive with his own players there. Have a see of that again. It was a pretty heavy tackle. I said it wasn't a spear tackle. He did land on his shoulders, but he had no idea where he was. Number six, Moses Embai. The Roosters would take on the Bulldogs in this do-or-die semi-final in 2015. Bulldogs halfback Moses Embai was the man that lost his bearings after being rolled over in the tackle and turning the ball over in a crucial part of a very important match. Embai running off a ball from Pritchard. 30 metres out. Oh! Is he going to be replayed and replayed and replayed? Yeah, he was real proud of his play the ball too. It was a good one. Number five. Jason Riles. In the traditional Anzac Day clash between the Roosters and the Dragons, front rower Jason Riles got turned around in the tackle, and he didn't turn back. Oh, wow! How embarrassing is that? Number four, Ryan Hinchcliffe. Looking to make an impact in the middle to start the second half and spark a Melbourne comeback, Ryan Hinchcliffe unfortunately did the opposite, gifting the Roosters the ball, and they would run away to a comfortable 24-2 victory in this Round 12 clash in 2015. Ryan Hinchcliffe. Oh, Corner and Maloney playing it the wrong way. Didn't quite know where he was. They put him in the washing machine. He came out with a rinse cycle. Number three, Anthony Quinn. In this classic round one clash in 2009 between the Storm and the Dragons, Anthony Quinn played the ball the wrong way and unfortunately for him and the Storm, they were in a great attacking position to score just before the halftime break. On tackle four, just centers the ball and steadies the ship. Oh. oh, it's Martin Bella. It, it, watch this. He's completely facing the other end. Oh, yeah, nice and quick. Well done, Quinny. <laughs> Number two, Dallin Wateni Zalesnia. Bulldogs versus the Eels in this round 12 clash in this unprecedented year of 2020. This play the ball from Dallin Wateni Zalesnia pretty much summed up the year of 2020, and the mistake would prove to be costly for the Bulldogs, as the Eels would score straight after the mistake and win the game by two points. Field position, 10 on their own side of halfway. Oh no, oh, oh he's no. played it the wrong way. He, he lost his up. compass here. I'm sorry, was he got up facing that way. I thought he's not going to. And number one, Martin Bella. 
easily the most well-known incorrect play the ball as Queensland forward Martin Bella did it on one of the biggest stages in rugby league. Game 1 of the 1994 Origin Series is well known for Mark Coyne's miracle game-winning try that gave Queensland a memorable Origin victory. Undershadowing that was this, Martin Bella play the ball. He really pumps up for Origin football, Martin Bella. Been in good form as well. Almost played it the wrong way. Head first into the turf there, he gets up, doesn't even look. <laughs> so, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chuck us a like on Facebook, end this video, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.